So there's lots of great video game composers out there. And most of them, you know, they're great at things like ambience and make things feel cinematic. But with Hideki, it's more of this crazy pop music that brings something new to the table. And that main secret ingredient is culture. Definitely his most popular piece of work is his soundtrack for Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future, the sequel to that game. And if you're over the pond, <laughs> you call it Jet Grind Radio. So anyway, what is Jet Set Radio? In a nutshell, it is an action-adventure game where you play as a gang of teenagers running around a futuristic Tokyo, spray painting stuff and beating up cops. And you know, it's about freedom of expression. It's about this pirate radio station. It's about the culture of a futuristic Tokyo. This really shaped how I viewed music in general. Like, I don't know if I would be a musician if it weren't for playing Jet Set Radio Future when that came out on the original Xbox. So there are two things that we want to take into consideration when we're talking about why this music is so good. The first is the time period in which it was made. And then the second thing we want to consider is the filter through which it was made, being, you know, from a Japanese composer. So first off, time. The year is 2000 in the electronic music scene. At the time, it was all about big beat. Genres are stupid. I have a whole nother video on genres if you want to hear me ramble about them. But in a nutshell, Big Beat was the big thing in the 90s in electronic music. It really broke into mainstream. It was a combination of different house music, acid music, and you know, people like Fatboy Slim and Chemical Brothers kind of coined the name Big Beat, just meaning layering. You would take a traditional you know, house electronic drum kit and you would layer almost the same beat done with drum samples over that. So you had really rich percussion that had, you know, sample drums on top of electronic drums. So it was just a lot going on. The way that it would ping pong back and forth, it's all over the place. And you can definitely hear that in some of the Jet Set Radio Future soundtrack. I mean, just listen to how like bonkers off the wall this is. just don't know enough about what was happening in Japan at the time. But I do know from listening to different interviews with Hideki, he was very much influenced by um, what they call black music. In Japan, when they say black music, that just, you know, it's a very all-encompassing term for a lot of different styles of music that were made in America by black people. I'm talking rhythm and blues, blues, <laughs> um, jazz, hip-hop, soul. These are all music made by black folks and so for the Japanese to call it black music, that makes perfect sense. So in general, when Japanese artists take an American style and they add their own flair to it, I honestly usually like their versions better. I like their iterations more because nine times out of 10, it's more technically intense. It's harder to listen to in that it just has more stuff going on. And I really appreciate that. I, I really appreciate very busy music. You know, uh, Japanese humor, Japanese television, Japanese entertainment in general is just more over the top. And I really appreciate that. You ever watch a Japanese game show? They have way more guts than we do as Americans. Like, they go so much further above and beyond. And that's the thing about Jet Set Radio Future. Very sporadic, in-your-face beats. And I love it. I love it so much. I still listen to this stuff all the time. Oh my god. If, and if you've only heard this stuff on Jet Set Radio Future, um, you've got a few more things to check out. You have not seen the last of Hideki Naginuma. He's definitely still kicking butt. He's still on the internet. He's still releasing awesome music. And there is still, 20 years later, there is still nothing like it. There is still nothing like this. Not really. Nothing has been able to top this. So, thank you Hideki. He's the best. And I hope from watching this you understand why he's the best.